Before I explain how to connect with your higher self, I want you to kind of have an understanding of what the higher self is. Um, I wrote up this little chart. Anyone that's taken my classes knows my little chart that I always draw in classes. It's kind of like a um, hierarchy of God or hierarchy of um, spirit or um, something like that. And hopefully the camera can read this. But um, like right here, um, there's a circle, and I don't know if you can read it on there, and my handwriting's kind of sloppy, but it says source. So um, when I say source, I just mean the guides, what they say is basically they don't call God God, they call God the light. So there is a source of all creation, a light in which everything emits from, a light, an intelligence that everything comes from, and that's what I'm calling source right here. From source, it splits off into God the masculine and then God the feminine, which we may in Christianity just call God and the Holy Spirit. So those are kind of created by source. And to my understanding, and I won't get into this, there's trillions of dimensions, but um, there's lots of masculine, feminine combination gods that create a bunch of different souls. So there's not just like one God, there's like a whole bunch. Um, so anyways, there's God, the masculine, the feminine, Holy Spirit, which create these creator souls. And um, so I just use the example of one creator soul, even though there's several. Um, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's the creator soul. And that creator soul basically is infused with the knowledge of source, is basically the child of the masculine feminine. So it's a combination of both. So it's its job as a creator soul is to create souls. So these are souls right here. And those souls then uh, create spirits. So these are, so it goes creator soul, soul, spirit. And what happens is those spirits are then assigned down to, right here is kind of like, this would be considered like the other side, like on the other side, if someone's completely crossed over. If someone hasn't crossed over, they're still down here. This is earth down here. Um, they're still on earth. Mediums will give messages from them thinking that they're in heaven, but really they're stuck down here still. Um, but that's a whole nother story and a whole completely different discussion that um, I can go into in a later date. But anyway, so here's the soul, the spirit. The spirit is then assigned to different soul groups. So here's the soul groups right here. You can kind of see one, two, three, four. There's a ton of soul groups, but I just kind of drew this up really quickly earlier when I was doing a tape and then uh, right in the middle of it, the battery died. <laughs> so I'm starting to start all over. Anyway, so um, as you can see here, um, these spirits are then here over here. This is the fifth dimension on the other side and they're what I call the university or what our guides call the university. And, um, and then they come down and they incarnate and they incarnate into a body. So that's a physical body with a mental body, an emotional body, a spiritual body. That's the aura right there. So that spirit comes, lives in this person. And then when the spirit, when the body dies, the spirit takes everything it learned here and takes it back over to that side. Meanwhile, everything is being uploaded to the spirit, or I'm sorry, to the soul, up to the creator soul. Hey. It's okay. And, and on and on, all the way up to God. So when they say that we're all experiencing life so that God can expand, um, it's true. So when people ask about the higher self, I always have a hard time answering that because in some books, you know, some authors will refer to the higher self as anything other than the ego or the intellectual mind. It's that piece of us that kind of knows um, for no reason, just knows. Um, some people call it their spirit. I call it, basically I call it our spirit. Um, our higher self is our spirit, but there can be different layers of information that each spirit is tapping into. So say somebody down here um, incarnates, this is say a family, so there's mom, dad, kid. Um, there's the spirit that goes into kid, spirit that goes into mom, spirit that goes into dad. If you follow these little dots up, you'll see that, let's see here, kid, mom, dad, mom and dad have the same, have the same soul. So they're soulmates. They're from the same soul. Um, so all of their experiences are being funneled up here, kind of like an iPod, um, sinking to like a hard drive or something like that. Um, 
most human beings cannot access that information, but can usually access what's within their field right here. But when we get into spirituality and we start opening up to higher states of consciousness, we're opening up and up and up to bigger pieces of us. Jesus was an example of somebody who was able to embody their Christed soul. So he was able to embody his soul because on some level, all of us have already been Christed. All of us are perfect. So um, when I talk about the higher self, I just talk about whatever layer, layer of ourselves we're tuned into on the other side. Um, but a lot of my students, I call the higher self um, one of the layers of our body, which would be the sixth layer. And you could share that layer of your body with family members. And that's kind of what I'm about to get into is when you want to tune into your children or you want to tune into um, a family member and find out what's going on with them, you really don't need to go outside of yourself. All you need to do is go within, ask your higher self to show you what it is that's bothering them, what it is that you need to know about them, and you'll see it all without having to go outside of yourself. If you're tuning into somebody who doesn't share a higher self with you, somebody that doesn't share you know, one of these layers, you, you could very easily share this layer with a bunch of people that you know and have different souls, different spirits, but come from the same oversoul up here. Um, so there's lots of different combinations and that's a whole different class that I teach on, on kind of like the anatomy of the soul. And I won't really get too deeply into it, but so when you're tuning into your child, you're asking to be taken into the layer of your body that you share with them. That way you don't have to go outside of yourself to tune into their energy. So the technique goes like this. Let me get Madison. Hey. I'll be right back. 